Seem like your biggest talk now is the Jordan River has dried up. You know, not too long ago I talked about the Mississippi River. And there are a lot of people that are starting to wake up um, and believe that there is a God. <laughs> there is heaven. There is hell. There is a lake of fire. There is Satan. The God of this world, Satan. And the Bible, I mean, I keep trying to tell people, it's showing you the Bible. Does that make sense? The Bible is showing you the Bible. The Holy Spirit, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Holy Spirit is showing you His Word, whether you want to believe it or not. And it's scaring a lot of people. What do you think that really is up under that Jordan River? Or what do you think that was high under all the water now that it's dried up? Let me say it like that. These funny looking sculptures, they... Is this photoshopped? I'm, I'm just asking y'all y'all opinion on this. Do you believe this stuff is photoshopped? Or do you believe what you really see in the pictures if you've been looking at it? And we all know how, how important the Jordan River was because, matter of fact, that's where John baptized Yahshua. Oh, yeah. John the Baptist. And we all know about Israel on their journey. When you talk about crossing the Jordan, that river, man, is about 150-something miles long. Now, picture it dried up. 150 something miles long, north to south. Mm. From the Sea of Galilee to the Dead Sea. I wonder why it was called the Dead Sea. Mm. Lies east of what you call modern day Israel right now. As a matter of fact, when you go back to the Old Testament, this river is exactly where Lot and Abraham, when they was getting ready to split up to choose their land if I remember correctly. But now it's dried up. And I keep telling people there, and I'm not going to make this video too long, there are things that have happened, been happened, there's things that's happening, and then there's things to come. Think about it. And if you don't know what, what, what happened in the beginning, you don't understand the old covenant it's hard to understand where we are now. And it's definitely hard to understand what's to come. So I'm talking to those who truly believe in the faith in this video. And I'll leave you on that. Shalom.